Day after day, I let things go. Why worry about tomorrow, today? The four afflictions are hard to predict. Wealth and honour don't last. Lakeside villas are swallowed by vines. Streamside trails disappear into weeds. Such things are easy for all to see. But no one is willing to look. A white-haired monk, afflicted with age, living under thatch year after year. I've exhausted my life on simple passions, My movements all spring from the sacred mind. When birds don't come, the mountain is quiet. Ten thousand pines keep it dark green. From the culpa of nothingness, it's clear a miraculous light still shines. What can you say about profit and fame to a solitary, untroubled mountain monk? Weeds of delusion don't grow in the mind where flowers of wisdom bloom. Bamboo shoots and fiddleheads blanket the slopes. Dust seldom falls on moss-covered ground. I was over thirty when I first arrived. How many sunsets have turned my windows red? I was a Zen monk who didn't know Zen, so I chose the woods for the years I had left. A patched robe over my body, braided bamboo round my waist. Mountain shade and stream light explain the patriarch's meaning. Flower smiles and bird songs reveal the hidden key. Sometimes I sit on flat topped rocks, cloud free afternoons once a month. More than 40 years I've lived as a hermit, out of touch with the world's rise and fall. A stove full of pine needles keeps me warm at night. A bowl of wild plants fills me up at noon. I sit on rocks and watch clouds and let thoughts wander.
I patch my robe in sunlight and cultivate silence until someone asks why Bodhidharma came east and I list all my possessions. Scorpion tails and wolf hearts overrun the world. Everyone has a trick to get ahead. But how many smiles in a lifetime? How many moments of peace in a day? Who knows a toppled cart means try another track. When trouble strikes, there is no time for shame. This old monk isn't just talking. He's trying to remove your obstacles and chains. A thatched hut, blue mountains, green streams. Visits by now are up to me. Two or three peach trees and plum trees in bloom. Green and yellow fields of vegetables and wheat. I sit all night in bed listening to rain. I open my paper window and doze off watching clouds. Nothing is better than being free. But getting free isn't luck. I moved to the cliffs in order to practice. I didn't need others to judge my faults. When natures are simple, old habits end. When thoughts are pure, awareness arises. Planting pines and weeding have strengthened my body. Reading sutras and sewing have sharpened my sight. The world's anomalies are funny indeed. The refugees of Chin are called hermits too. I search creation without success. By chance I found this forested peak. 
my thatched hut pokes through clouds and sky. The moss slick trail cuts through bamboo. Favour and shame arouse the ambitious. I grow old on the stillness of Zen. Dark pines and strange rocks remain unknown to those who look for mind with mind. Study the patterns of transient existence. The outcome of a game of chess isn't fixed. A monk in the mountains needs to be free. People in the dust grow old, unaware. Wind blows tea smoke over my bed. The stream drops petals into a pool. With 36,000 days, why not spend a few being still?